pay up. I don't intend to reread books much, but I will be rereading this. It is one of the most beautiful, immersive, and emotive books I can ever remember falling into. Through the second person narrative that's used in this book, you are the nameless young black in his early 20 something man in London who's navigating a complex relationship with his identity, race, the city, and the young woman that he meets. She is a dancer and he a photographer. She waltzes into his life and he sees the picture of her with his best friend. And so the love story begins. This book is so poetic and lyrical in its prose and feel, and the mentions of Drake, Dizzy Rascal, and Frank Ocean only enhance this as you read. Right from the start, the connection between you, the protagonist, and the young woman is clear. But so is the tension. She is with your best friend and you are unsure of how to proceed. This tension underpins your interactions with everything. The police, the violence, the uncertainty about the future. Do you belong? How can someone truly see you when you are struggling in your own skin? This is a story you feel rather than one you follow. Sometimes that feeling is like a punch, like the interactions with the police or outside the fast food shop. Other times, it is like a caress. The book is honest and true, and this gifted writer helps you live in this world. This world where everything feels close. The weather, the music, the people. But at any point, it could all drop away to the depths. It is a story about being seen, being accepted, finding somewhere to belong. You can read or listen to the whole review on the podcast at the website or the biscuit reviews at thehumanist.co.uk. My biscuit rating? A chocolate covered Viennese whirl, an elegant treat with contrasting flavours. You can buy Calibre Zuma Nelson's debut book right now, and his next one, Small Worlds, is out in May.